Well, if you love physical Smash Mouth football, then Sunday's game against the Jack Jacksonville Jaguars was definitely for you, and I know it was definitely for this guy. Yes, Kevin sir. Nolan. They <laughs> ran the rock. 276 yards, phenomenal performance on Sunday. Hey, hey don't shortchange him. 285. 85? Right. My goodness. Yeah. 14 short of the franchise record, 299. Look, there were a lot of plays to choose from. We're going to give you four right here. Look at some of those zone schemes Carolina was using to great success against this Jags defense. Yes, this Jags defense presented some problems because they're going to move guys around. They're going to try and do some things that are gonna mess you up in your run game with getting guys in gaps. And so a great way to attack that is a zone blocking scheme. And what that means is everyone kind of has an area. You're gonna step to the left here. It's a zone running play to left. By zone, whoever presents itself in your area, you take that man. If there's no one in that area, help your buddy go up to the next level. Zone blocking. So on this particular play, it will be going zone to the offensive left side. You'll see Greg Olson He's going to fill in backside here and provide something that kind of cuts the defense. You're looking for any lane that will pop, and Christian McCaffrey does a beautiful job here. As you let this play run, you'll see Max as these guys get a pause it right there. There's a body on a body. So you got all these guys accounted for here. You got Greg that set this edge. And then Moten does a beautiful job of, you know, he could have just kept washing down here possibly could have affected McCaffrey, but here slows himself down, turns back on the end, yeah. and that little turn and that subtle move, detail, detail is what it's all about, springs this massive run by Christian yeah. McCaffrey. I don't know if we can play that back just a little bit to show you too, because Miles Jack, the linebacker for Jacksonville in that play, is way out of position, and part of the reason for that is, Kevin, is Curtis Samuel, no? I mean, the motion that they bring him across the formation. I mean, let's play it and look at the way Miles Jack reacts. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. And that's a testament to what North Turner's done on offense to take one guy out of the box by moving a guy that wasn't going to block for you anyway creates opportunities for the O-line and obviously Christian McCaffrey. All right, obviously an 84-yard touchdown run is a good way to get things started on uh, offense. Let's take a look at another chunk play here in the run game from Christian. Okay, a little bit shorter game for Christian McCaffrey, but a very similar situation here. So before we had 88 right here, now he has moved over here. He is on the ball for the snap of this play. So a different look for this Panthers team against the Jaguars, but still the same concept here. They're gonna try and go to an area, whatever man is there for the Jags, you block that guy. Watch this one now as Christian McCaffrey reads this play. He's gonna get the handoff and take a look, pause it there. He gets this handoff right here immediately his attention is here. He sees a little bit of color from the Jags right on that shoulder. So let's think cut back. Look at what um, Daryl Williams does right here. Does a wonderful job on this linebacker. And then Moten coming down here providing a cut. And then look at Olsen. This is so critical. As this play develops, you'll see those cutoff blocks and getting movement allows that cut by McCaffrey. Again, Daryl Williams, a fantastic block there. Huge play for the Panthers again, a big first down. Yeah, you're seeing the offensive lineman getting a hat on a hat, what you also saw there too, the juke from Christian McCaffrey. My goodness, Jacksonville He's defenders special. had a, He's special. they were terrorized by McCaffrey on Sunday. Okay, let's take a look at our next play here, Kevin. And I think this one we're gonna see, yep, Reggie Bonifon checking into the game with Christian dealing with some cramps late, different running back, same success. Yeah, and I love this. Another subtle thing right before this play, Olsen actually lined up here, does a motion across, and ends up setting right here, but essentially he'll do the same thing. He's gonna work back here to provide a nice cut that there is some kind of a lane that'll form. All of these gentlemen up front, these hog mollies do a nice job of fitting in on some of these Jaguar defenders. You see a lot of guys in the box. And what I want you to watch is Dennis Daly. Watch this run. Bonifant's gonna get this thing, get the cut back to the left, and then pause it right there. That's Calais Campbell, and he's got him so tied up he could have easily not kept his shoulder square, kept running this way. Calais throws him out of the way. He makes a big hit there, but keeps his shoulder square. Good technique for the young player. And then Bonifant does the rest here. Just bursts upfield, gives one stab right there to the safety, to the house max. A really pretty play for Bonifant. Yep, and that play might look familiar. Same play Carolina ran for that 84-yard touchdown for Christian. Just flipped to the other side. You saw the same motion from Olsen, from Samuel. Obviously, that was a play North Turner felt pretty good about. Yeah, one. no doubt. And this final play, they're going to run zone again. Yep. And it's just a little bit different look. Let's take a look. And, and so key elements to look at. Look, they brought in an extra offensive lineman, and now Arm is in the mix. All right, Arm is going to motion on this play. 
uh, over to here, provides a little eye candy, then he's gonna move back here on the snap of the ball. All these linemen, again, will be doing some blocking like this. Actually, they'll be going this way, all right? So Bonifant's gonna start this way. They realize that there's probably an unblocked guy over here that might not be accounted for. And this is, I think, a designed cut where Bonifant's gonna take this and then, you know what? Let's just follow Arma here and see what he can do on the backside. It unfolds beautifully. So watch this play, Max, as it goes. You'll see Bonifant get this handoff. We'll pause it right there. Really wasn't looking much to this side. As soon as he saw Arma cross his face, I'm following the big fella. Blocking was fantastic on this side with Olsen. And you see the cut right there. Beautifully blocked play. Arma does a good job. No holding on it. Excellent technique by everyone up front. A real testament, again, to John Masco, what he's done with moving parts on the offensive line, and then North Turner dialing up a plan that took advantage of what the Jags did. Kevin, any better feeling as an offensive lineman than running the ball and knowing that the defense you're up against just simply can't stop it? No, 285 is a massive number. Should have gotten that right at the beginning of this <laughs> thing. That's poor form by me, but great form by the O-line. You, yep. you love it. When you can just run the same play over and over, you've got a feel for it, and sometimes you just feel like the defense can't stop it. That is the joy that yep. offensive linemen feel in a game, being able to put that performance up. Yeah, Panthers impose their will on the Jaguars. They'll try to do the same against the Buccaneers in London. We'll see you again next time right here on Self Scout.